Hi folks and welcome. This video is about the new way, which is really the only way to cure TMS permanently. You know, the old way is just not very effective. It usually starts with the Dr. Sarno book and then there's journaling and thinking about problems and thinking about childhood issues. It's very passive and ends up having little to no effect on the pain. And so people are left wondering why they can't make the Sarno method work. But here's the reality. Sarno's books don't actually contain Sarno's methods. For that, you had to go see him in New York. So unfortunately, the process that most people are using is very incomplete. So what you need is a real structured plan that you can just follow step by step and that's exactly what I'm going to give to you right now. And you can relax because there is no selling in this video. It's just good information. So to cure TMS, you must take small action steps in each of three categories simultaneously for approximately 90 days. That's the average amount of time it takes. Now, this Sarno 3.0 method is different because we're not stuck in the past thinking about emotions and problems because that doesn't work. Instead, we're focusing on taking action in the present so that we can solve the problem quickly and permanently. This new way is effective because you're now attacking the problem from three different angles at the same time. Let's take a look at each of those three categories, and I think once you see what we're doing here, you'll understand why this is a better way of curing TMS. Belief must be switched from, this is a serious medical condition, to, this is just stress tightening up the body. The reason belief must change is because thinking you have a serious medical condition generates fear and anxiety, which only perpetuates the problem. So the goal here is to grow your belief from wherever it is now, say 65, 70% that you have TMS to at the end of 90 days being 100% sure. That's when the pain stops permanently. And you do that by becoming a student of the mind-body connection with books and courses, support groups, coaching, anything that supports the premise. Here's an example of using clinical studies to help change belief. Here's a study done by the Cleveland Clinic where over 200 people who did not have back pain were given an MRI on their spines. The study showed that 70% of them had disc abnormalities. They had bulging discs, herniated discs, degenerative discs, even though they had no pain. So the only conclusion that one can logically come to is that MRI results are irrelevant. And feeding your subconscious mind with this type of information consistently for 90 days will allow you to accept that yes, in fact, your doctors are wrong and your MRI results are meaningless. So think about it. When you switch your belief from being sure that you have this serious medical condition to being sure that you don't, all that fear and all that anxiety and all that cortisol just goes away and then you can heal. In fact, let's take a minute to look at the stress hormone cortisol and its relationship to chronic pain. The Mayo Clinic's website says this about cortisol. Long-term activation of the stress response system can overexpose the body to cortisol, which can disrupt all the body's processes. This creates an increased risk of many health problems, including muscle tightness and pain, digestive issues, headache, and fatigue. Those are all TMS symptoms. So lowering stress levels in order to lower cortisol levels is the key to the whole thing. Okay, let's move on to the second category, which is about lowering stress. So we all understand why we need to reduce stress. It's the how where most people go wrong. Journaling and processing emotions have minimal effect on stress because 
the source of that stress is unchanged. So the best way to cure TMS is by identifying your top stressors and then resolving them. Once the problem has been resolved, the corresponding stress and the cortisol will drop to zero, and then the corresponding pain will drop to zero. We've seen it happen a hundred times. So don't just journal about your circumstances, change your circumstances. Remember, nothing reduces stress more than problem resolution. Okay, let's move on to the last category, which is movement. It's called the mind-body connection for a reason. Moving and flexing and stretching the body are absolutely essential to curing TMS, and here's why. Moving and stretching and foam rolling releases the tight muscle tissue that are causing the pain. Relaxed muscles cannot cause back pain. Challenging the body with movement proves there's nothing structurally wrong. Regular exercise creates regular proof for your subconscious mind that you are not broken. Also, exercise produces good hormones like endorphin, serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine that relax the mind and then relax the body. Exercise also reduces cortisol. It was the game changer for me and it might be for you too. Start slowly and work directly through the pain slowly until it's gone. Now this is a battle between you and TMS. If you don't give up, TMS will. It always does. And so that's it, the new way, or rather the only way, to permanently cure TMS. You'll have to do the work each week for approximately 30 days before you start to see symptom improvement, meaning a drop in pain by maybe 10%. And then keep working and taking action for approximately 60 more days, and you should see steady progress each week. But it's not necessarily a straight line. Some weeks will be better than others, but if you keep going, the pain will stop permanently. That's what happened for me five years ago. That's what happens for lots of people every week. And now that's what can happen for you. Just keep going. Thanks for watching, folks. Yeah.